Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Mario Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this beautiful day which He has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. The church of Victory are rejoicing our head all the time in the church of the righteous. Today we have come to give God thanks for His faithfulness to us, for so everything God has done for us, our families and our nations. We are blessing God for His goodness. He is God. There is no other God as Him. Amen. We we'll give thanks to, to the Lord for His good, for His mercy and due to forever. Amen. So today we are lifting up our hands to give thanks to God for His mercy, for His faithfulness to us, for everything He has done for us and our families and nations. We are blessing for our salvation in Jesus Christ, that God has opened unto us the door through which the righteous must come. He is our God. Let us bless Him in the name of Jesus. Bless Him for what He has done for you. For your friends, for your families, for the body of Christ, for the spiritual gifts which God has blessed us. For the main fact that we are alive to see this day that God has created. None of us woke up this morning by our own human power or wisdom, but God woke us up to see this day. Blessed is God. He has not woken us up this morning to eat the bread of sorrows. He has provided our needs. He has anointed our heads to oil, our cups are overflowing. It's such his holy name. Magnify his name in the assemblies of the children of God. Glorify our God for what he has done for us today in our families, wherever we are gathered today. Let our God be unto God, our living God, our one and only righteous God, Jehovah, the only wise God. Father, we bless you this morning. We thank you for your faithfulness to us. We bless you, God, that we are alive to see this picture for the day which you have made. We thank you, God, because we know that you have provided all our needs today. We thank you because we know that you are encompassing around us and our families and nations today. We bless you because we know you are providing for us. You are defending us against the attack of the wicked. We bless you, God, for all battles that you are fighting on our behalf today. We thank you for your right hand, your, your right hand, your victorious right hand of holiness. Your right hand that pulls them the struggle of the wicked, Jehovah God. We thank you, God, for what you know can do in our lives, what you can do in our families, what you can do within the body of Christ today. Father, be that exalted. We thank you, God, as we surrender to you today. Father, have your way in our lives. Forgive us in this that we are falling short of your glory. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. You are God. Be that exalted. We lift you high. Glory, hallelujah. From the rising of the sun unto the place it said to make God is worthy to be praised. We are praising you today. We are praising our living God. We be center of who we should that have a have a have a have a have We be the center of who we should that have a have a center of who we should that have a We be the center of who we should that have a In the name of Jesus. Oh, we are thanking you, Jehovah God. We do not know how to pray or what we ought to pray about. The Spirit of the Living God, help us this day. In the name of Jesus. May the of shame that I have, have, have. Help us in our worship today, in our present worship. As we lift up our hands to our God today, pray for us. In the name of Jesus. Pray in grace of God, the Father understands. God, 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 God searches our hands and lose what you say in on our behalf. In the name of Jesus. May we be sent to the book of shame that I have, have, have. May we be sent to the book of shame that I have, but I will bless you. May we hear you share that our house in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, our God. We bless you for what you do for us today. We bless you for giving us strength today. We bless you for helping us today. We bless you for putting our heads to all evil, Lord God. Our cups are overflowing. We are filled with rejoicing this morning. We are marching onto the arms of the altar for the Lord, beginning from our homes, Lord God. We are teaching our children to love. We are to trust to you, Jehovah God. We are proclaiming your goodness, Lord God. In the assembly of the righteous, Lord God, beginning from our families, Lord God, we are testifying on the things you have done for us because we have tasted and seen your goodness, Lord God. We understand, Lord God, that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Today, Father Lord, we are proclaiming the amounts of God, the things that we have heard, the things that we have seen, Lord God, the things that we have tested, Lord God, so that our families and nations, Lord God, will be filled with the knowledge of your will, that will know you, oh God. We be he be sent that of because those that know you are strong for you, Father Lord. They do great works for you in the name of Jesus. They are not afraid of the of the of, of the kingdom of darkness, Jehovah God, because they are not children of the dark, oh Lord God. They are your children, Jehovah God, children of the light, children of the day that do great works for you in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you today in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your goodness and mercy leading us through this life. We thank you, Father Lord, for sending your word to heal us of our sicknesses of diseases. Father, we thank you for overturning every plan of the enemy, for overturning. Their arrows back upon their heads, Lord God. 
we have ever had that against us. We have fallen into their own pit and they dropped their own hands about God. Their weapons are being used against them for that moment because we have set confusion in the midst of the wicked today. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Jehovah God, for approaching from our families, from our gatherings, wherever we are. Everything could right to your wish, Jehovah God. We thank you for setting solid foundation for our feet, oh my God. You are our Father, we bless you. The God who presides in the great assembly, oh Lord God. The God, oh Lord God, that all other gods are, fear, are afraid of. Jehovah God, we thank you. Because we have not made gods out of our own hands, we are coming to you, the one and only true God, under the covering of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we pray the blood of Jesus today and ask for forgiveness in ways that we have fallen short of your glory. We know that we have sinned in so many ways, oh Lord God. You said we have not sinned, we are liars and there's no truth in us. We have all fallen short of your glory. Father, have mercy and forgive us today in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, God, that we have come before you, our God, who does not orders of uh, any condemnation against us today in the name of Jesus. You have forgiven us of all our sins, oh Lord God. We have been made clean in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jehovah God, because the word you have spoken over us as clients us with all our righteousness. Father, we bless you today in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. Blessed be your holy name forever in the name of Jesus. We came to you in our sins, Jehovah God. You have made us new people in you. We thank you that your hands are always outstretched to a sinners, oh Lord God. O Rabbi Havoshin, that would you for any that return of her, away from the crooked paths to come to you, that you will make a new people in you in the name of Jesus, as you did in the life of Saul, for that Lord who became the apostle Paul. You can do it in any of our lives so that we surrender ourselves to you to use as instrument of righteousness. Father, we pray today that as you knock at the doors of our hearts, Son of God, that your children will hear and knock and, and open the doors so that you can come into dine with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father, we are thanking you because you are the only God who has power to forgive sins, Son of God. You are the only God who has power to kill and to cast into hell. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We know, Father Lord, that you are not slack about your promises. We know that you do not delight in the death of a sinner. That you are waiting for all of us to turn and walk back from a crooked path to turn back to you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you, God, for your patience, your resources, Lord God. For your unfailing love in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you for your faithfulness, Lord God. We bless you for your love, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus. You have said nothing can separate us from your love. It's because we love us so much that you sent Jesus Christ to die for us. Even while we are sinners, you are God. While we are struggling with sin and guilt, O Lord God. While we have no consciousness of what was good for the Lord, you sent your son to, to deliver us, O Lord God, from the bondage of sin and death. We thank you, Jehovah God, that we have life, abundant life in this world, for the Lord, and eternal life in your kingdom. So if you have made us your heads and co heads with Jesus Christ of your glorious inheritance, Jehovah God, we thank you. We bless you. For you made the boundary line to fall on us in pleasant places, O Lord God. We have eternal inheritance in you. We do not doubt that you are God. We are feeding on every word for that Lord that you have sent to us, you are God. Because we understand that man cannot live by bread and love, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. Every word you have spoken for that Lord is to help us, to train us Lord God, in righteousness and, and goodness to bring us back to you, to instruct us Lord God, in your ways Lord God, because we are your light in this world. You have made us the sort of this world. You have blessed us Lord God, that we consign men to you, that go out to the nations to appeal to men, to turn back from the crooked Way to come back to you. We are joining your spirit today to cry out to our brothers and sisters wherever they are to turn back to God. That God loves us so much. Our God is never stuck about his promises. Come back to God. Remember, he will share that receive the light that God has given to you. That God will use your power to rightly in his kingdom to do great works for you here on earth, for him here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Father, we have thank you this morning that you shows us Father, to go forth to the nations about God. You gave us a great commission. We are blessing you. Jehovah God, for the great works we can do for you. In the name of Jesus, we know that when you send us for that Lord, that you send us with your power and your authority, that we do not go in our names, Lord God. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the eyes from the eyes of the Lord, we bless you. Jehovah God, you are giving us authority, O Lord God. We be be sent to the Lord God, to baptize people in your name, Father Lord, and in the name of your Son, and in the name of your Holy Spirit. We thank you that you are giving us the authority, O Lord God, to cast out demons from your children, Jehovah God. Those that are demon possessed Father Lord, you are giving us authority, O Lord God, to teach in your name the living word of God to the nations in the name of Jesus. We are thanking you, Jehovah God, because you are giving us the power and authority, O Lord God, to lay our hands, O Lord God, on the sick and they will receive healing in the name of Jesus. We do not doubt the power and authority you are giving to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you because you are giving us authority, O Lord God, to encourage one another, to lift up one another who are done trodden from, from, from our lowly estate, Jehovah God. 
you are giving us power, oh Lord God Almighty, to break the rod of oppression, oh Lord God, to deliver your children from every manner of oppression, indignation, oh Lord God. Father, we bless you, God, in the name of Jesus, for the great and mighty things we can do in your name as we go forth into the nations, even beginning from our families, oh Lord God, as we begin, Father Lord, to do fruitful works for you in the name of Jesus, as we begin to overturn, Father Lord, family, temples, and shrines erected against your will, you are God, our ancestors, you are God, as we turn back to you in the name of Jesus, as we begin to approach and stand against the forces of darkness within our families and outside of our families, Lord God, to do your will. You are God, because you are the glory and the lift up of our heads, you are lifted up our heads against every plan of the wicked. We are not afraid of what the wicked will do unto us. We are your children, Father Lord, the church is prevailing. Your word is going forth, Father Lord, is standing, Lord God, in the sky, like the faithful witness in the sky, like the moon, in the name of Jesus, and our eyes can see, oh Lord God, what you have done in the, in, in the nations. We are blessing you, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, the God that, that you have sent off your word and your word will not return to you empty, in the name of Jesus. Your word is accomplished accomplishing the purpose for which you send the forth in the nations today, in our lives, in our communities, in the body of Christ, in the government, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We thank you, Jehovah God, that wherever we are, your children will always be gathered unto you. We magnify your name. We thank you. As we lift up the banner of Jesus Christ, we are not ashamed of the God of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are exalting you this morning because you are highly lifted us up with Jesus Christ. Though we are in this world, you are not in this world. In the spiritual realm, we are sitting with Jesus Christ. Greater is he that is in us than in, that is in the world. Oh, Father, we bless you. We thank you for renewed strength this morning. We thank you for rekindled hope, Jehovah God. We thank you for fresh anointing upon us. We thank you for divine blessing, Jehovah God. We thank you for healing of various diseases and sicknesses, Lord God. Every attack of the enemy on our bodies and our flesh, Lord God, on, on, on our blood, Jehovah God. You are taking control of everything in the name of Jesus. Cancer is shrinking in the name of Jesus. Jesus, our blood, blood, well, our blood pressure, Father Lord, is being normalized, Father Lord. Our blood sugar level is being taken care of this day in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm taking care of us as you are God. Every attack of the enemy is being overturned by your mighty power, you are God. For as many that have faith will receive you, are God. They will see the mighty work of God in their hands through wonders, miraculous deeds, and, and signs today in the name of Jesus. Father, we are thanking you because you are sending your holy angels around the hospital, so that God, the nursing home. Home, our own, so that God, the rehabilitation centers, wherever your children are receiving medical care today, even the doctor's offices, Father Lord, you are doing great and mighty works today. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I are sending healing to your children, Jehovah God. You are touching every organ in our body, so that God. Oh, Father, our reproductive organs, so that God. Our breast, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our eyes, so that God. Our nose and nostrils, in the name of Jesus, our ears, Jehovah God, our heads, Lord God, our brains, in the name of Jesus, you are touching Jehovah God, our truth, Lord God, and everything in our mouth, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, our teeth, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, we bless you this day, because you are touching our lower back, in the name of Jesus, you are removing every pain, Lord God, we are positioning our, our posture, our right, in the name of Jesus, you are touching our spines, Jehovah God, you are touching our shoulders, Jehovah God, our hands, our legs, in the name of Jesus, you are touching our knees today. Father Lord, you are touching the wombs of your daughters that are waiting for for looking up to you for the blessing of the wounds, Jehovah God. You are touching their husbands, Lord God. Whatever is causing the problem for the Lord, that is preventing conception, you are taking control of that this morning because there's no barrenness in your house, Jehovah God. We bless you, our living God, for the great and mighty works you are doing. You are touching our memory, Jehovah God. You are increasing us in intelligence, in understanding, Lord God, in wisdom for our Lord and in knowledge. In the name of Jesus, you are enlightening our eyes to say that we can see clearly. In the name of Jesus, we see beyond the things that are in this spot, Father Lord. We are looking into, we are saying, Father Lord, the things in the spiritual realm, and we are claiming our blessings today in the name of Jesus. We can perceive the things you are doing in our midst, Lord God. We can see your light shining on us this day. When every situation, every circumstance we find ourselves in today, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you, Father Lord, because you have lifted up his standard against cancer, also no disease, Father Lord. Every disease, Father Lord, attacking the liver and oh, rubber, cover, shelter, and kidneys of your children, Jehovah God. Everything that has gone 
of God, Lord, Lord, in the truth, Lord God, around the years, Lord God, coming out by the mighty power of God in the name of Jesus. Anything that will make your children to die by so, sudden stroke, but our Lord, and at attack, we are coming against that in the name of Jesus. Father, you are touching the arteries of your children and their veins, Lord God. Blood is flowing all over the body. Oh, Rabbi, our suture is being carried, Lord God, all over the body in the name of Jesus. We come against every nothingness in any part of the body today. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you that dry bones are receiving life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything dead in our bodies that should be alive, be alive today. By the mighty power of God, Jehovah God, we bless you. We may be sent that attack in the eyes of your children. Oh, Rabbi, Baba, that your children are seen today. In the name of Jesus, wherever they attack you today, your children, Father, are lifted out of their hands of God. Oh, they are touching those parts, they are receiving the help of God today. In the name of Jesus, by your word, Lord God, we have been healed, Jehovah God. By the strength of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we have been made whole. In the name of Jesus, he bore our sickness and diseases, our reproaches, our shame, Jehovah God. He was on God, that tree. He said, Cause is it that is on God, the tree, Jehovah God. He was made a cause for us that we may have life, life we have today. We are living in above sins, Lord God. Above diseases and sicknesses, Jehovah God. Our bodies are temples we are in. You dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. You are holding by the hands of the wicked, Lord God. For everyone that has lifted up their voices against us and cursed us, Jehovah God, that cursed us, returning all back upon their heads, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, you are returning every negative work looking against us and our families today. Oh, Father, you are refreshing us, Lord God. You are giving us renewed strength, Lord God, to run and race today. In the name of Jesus, we are blessing you for the great and mighty works you are doing in our miss today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift up to you today. Every medicine, every medical procedure that will be done on your children today. Every equipment that will be used on them today. All the doctors and nurses, everyone in the hospital attending to your children today. We did that in the blood of Jesus. Father, arise unto your children today. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, separate them from everything evil. Those walking, oh Lord God, for Satan in the medical field, oh Lord God, lift up a standard against them. Let them be scattered. Let them be confused. Let your hands come against them. Let them never agree on anything that's Spiritual rain that concerns your children, Jehovah God. Those that are blood testing will come against them today. The blood of Jesus is speaking against them. Your word, O Lord God, is accusing them, O Lord God, of their evil deeds in the nations, Jehovah God. Your Rabbi Hava Shenta, your wrath will come against them. Your wrath will come against them. In the name of Jesus. Oh, fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit descending upon their tent today. They are being scattered by the mighty hands of God. They are they scamper around in confusion. The hands of God has come against the wicked today. We bless you for the Great works you're doing are miss even today. We thank you that people are standing up from their sick beds, so Lord God. Oh, that let's have been strengthened for that Lord. They are receiving strength to do great works, so Lord God. We thank you that kidneys, so Lord God, are bouncing back to life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, that you're touching livers, so Lord God. You are touching everything in the body, Jehovah God. We thank you that dry bones that are almost dead are coming back to life by the mighty power of God because you're speaking to those bones in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, nothing is impossible for you to do. You are God. Remember, Christian, that involving the affairs of men. In the name of Jesus, you are flushing out every attack of the enemy from our blood today. Everything that went in, Father Lord, that comes into your will, causing sicknesses and diseases are being flushed out by the mighty power of God. In the name of Jesus, water that we drank, oh Lord God, remember shame that are affecting us today. They are being flushed out this day. In the name of Jesus, Father, you have a reason to turn your children today. You are doing great works for us in the mighty name of Jesus, because you are God. When we call upon you, Father, Lord, when we do not doubt and we believe, we receive, oh Lord God. When we pray in accordance to your will, your spirit is helping us to pray today. We are receiving healing today. We are receiving the touch of God from the crown of our heads to the soul of our feet today. We are receiving, Father Lord, life. In the name of Jesus, abundant life as you promised us, O Lord God. You have a good plan for us, O Lord God. You have a way for us, a way that we want to work on you, O Lord God. We must be fruitful because you have promised us, O Lord God, the spirit of fruitfulness in this world. It's by being fruitful that people know that we are your children. We will not die prematurely, O Lord God. Oh, Father, we are coming against this congestion today. We are clearing our, our nasal pathway in the name of Jesus. O Lord God, we bless you for everything you are doing for us today. Great and mighty are you, God. In the name of Jesus, you are highly exalted, Jehovah God. You are touching our lungs today. 
in the name of Jesus. You're flushing out more cause that should not be there by your mighty power. They're coming out from our bodies today in the name of Jesus. Every evil deposit in the body of your children are coming out today. You're shrinking cancer this morning by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Remember, send that about over shelter. All sorts are being cured in today by the mighty power of God in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, Rabbi, send that about this is that we not even know about all God. Oh, Father Lord, Rabbi, send that about you have sent cure today in the name of Jesus. We bless you, God. We are lifting up our children, Father Lord, that have AIDS and HIV, HIV today. You are touching them, you're touching them, Father Lord. You are restoring, Father Lord, head to your immune system in the name of Jesus. Father, you can do this in love, Father. Forgive us in ways we are falling short of your glory. Oh, as you have brought this upon our sins, oh Lord God, have mercy, you are God. In the name of Jesus, when your children cry out to you, Father Lord, in their affliction, to their repent of their sins, Father Lord, you yell us and you help us. In the name of Jesus, arise unto us this day. Jehovah God, help us, O Lord God. Touch every organ, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus, Rabba, Haba, Haba, put the enemy to shame today. In the mighty name of Jesus, wishes and wish wizards, O Lord God. Those that can't control all things against your children. In the name of Jesus, those that practice magic, O Lord God. Oh, Father, let them be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you God for what you and all have done in our midst today. We exalt your holy name in the name of Jesus. We thank you our Father in Jesus mighty and precious name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Lord God Almighty, at this time, Father Lord, we are praying, Father Lord, that you position your children and write the medical profession, that you anoint them new, Father Lord, with fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. All their hands, Lord God, as they do any medical procedure on your children, bless them, give them wisdom today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of fear. We come against medical error. Father, let them always remember that you are with them, that you are walking, you are walking through them, O Lord God, and in them to perfect your way, that your spirit is right there to help them. We come against every spirit of the egg trying to cause distractions today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, God. Oh, Father, I lighten their eyes to see clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. We are weak, oh Lord God, and tired for long hours of service, oh Lord God. Refresh them in the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen them from within, Father Lord. Well, it could pass around there and their families your holy presence, oh Lord God, as they work for you and the nations, oh Lord God. Bless them. Bless their families, oh Lord God. Let them lack nothing good in the name of Jesus. Father, refresh them, oh Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you for their good works, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless you that you position them our right, oh Lord God, within the, the medical profession to do great works for you. In the name of Jesus, to make decisions for your children, Jehovah God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you for breakthrough in medical science, oh Lord God, for the treatment of various diseases, Jehovah God. We bless you for the great works you do in the nations, oh Lord God. You are our Father. We say thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Our Lord God Almighty, we are lifting up the pharmaceutical companies to you, Jehovah God. We thank you for those that manufacture good medicine, Father Lord. We thank you that good Good works in the nations, Lord God. They are working for you, Jehovah God. We thank you for their good works, Father Lord. They can pass around them, Father Lord. Bless them and their families, Jehovah God. Let give them wisdom, Jehovah God, to continue to invent good medicine for your nations, for the nations, Lord God. Father, I use them mightily, Jehovah God. Oh, we thank you, Jehovah God, for the spirit of prosperity upon them, for the spirit of goodness and mercy upon them. In the name of Jesus, thank you for what you Lord, can do in their lives, Lord God. Protect them from the evil forces of darkness, Lord God, in their profession. Those manufacturing fake medicines, oh Lord God, poison, and putting them into the markets of the nations, oh Lord God. Let your hands come against them. Let them be scattered, oh Lord God. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit descend upon their tent, oh Lord God. Oh, Father, Rachel, shit, let the blood of Jesus speak against them. In the name of Jesus, they are killing the children of God through their evil works, oh Lord God. Remember, Father, arise unto us. You are involved in the affairs of men, Father Lord. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit descend upon them and their family and their tent, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, let the foundation of evil be shaken, you Jehovah God. Let them know that you are God in the affairs of men. Father, we bless you for what you alone can do. We glorify your name, Jehovah God. For the battle is yours, not ours, Lord God. Anyone that lift up their hands against your children, Father Lord, let your hands be lifted up against them. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, our God. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Lord God Almighty, we are lifting up to you this morning the medical laboratories, Lord God, and the technicians working there, all the equipment that they use in those places, Lord God. Let your spirit over around the, 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 the laboratories, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, begin to do good works, Lord God, through your children in the in, in, the, in, in the, the, the technicians, Lord God. Father, we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against any error, Father Lord, they do various tests on behalf of your children, Lord God. Father, enlighten their eyes and increase their intelligence and knowledge in the 
the name of Jesus. Increase them in understanding, Jehovah God. Use them mightily to do your works in the name of Jesus. Protect them against the evil forces of darkness in their profession. Those, Father Lord, that will come into spreading your good works, Lord God. Let the hands of God be lifted up against them. Let the blood of Jesus speak against them. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit descend upon their tent, Lord God. Let them be confused and driven out, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, let their evil be exposed, Lord God. Let them find no place to hide in the name of Jesus. But I will bless you for your good works. We thank you for what you are doing through your children, Jehovah God. Thank you for prosperity in the nations. Thank you for good health, Lord God. Thank you that your children are able to enjoy the life you have given to them. Thank you that your children can work for you. They can begin to proclaim this gospel of salvation to the nations, Lord God. That they can show forth your praise, Lord God. That they will not be held down by Lord, with the bondage of sicknesses and diseases, Lord God. Thank you for delivering your children today. In the name of Jesus, you are God. We bless you, God, for everything you have done for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are exalted in our midst and living God. In Jesus' mighty name, glory, hallelujah, amen. Our Lord God Almighty, we are lifting up our families to you today. We bless you for what you are doing in our families. Father, you ordain families to be a union between a man and a woman. You bless family to reproduce and to be fruitful and earthful, Lord God. To conquer this earthful, Lord God. To, to multiply and to replenish the health in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you are doing through our families, Lord God. We bless you, God. That we are married made to female, Jehovah God. That we are holding up, Father Lord, to your ordinances. By them, Father Lord, we are one. In keeping of them, there is great reward. In the name of Jesus, we are populating this earth with your children. Children, oh Lord God, that the born in Rabokobo Shenta Baba, in your at likeness and image, oh Lord God. Children, in which your spirit indwell, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jehovah God, for great and mighty works you are doing through us and our families, Lord God. We bless you, Jehovah God, for the ministries, oh Lord God, in our families, Lord God. We thank you that we are working for you, oh Lord God. We are teaching our children to know you, to love you, Lord God, to trust you, Lord God. We are passing on the tradition we have received to you, Father Lord, to the next generation. We are testifying about your faithfulness, oh Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that our quivers are full with children, Jehovah God, that our children are like olive, uh, that are like uh, olive shoots around their father's table, Son of God, and the wives of your sons are fruitful vines within their homes, Son of God. We bless you, God, in the name of Jesus, that your sons fear you, or oh, that they are priests in their homes, Son of God, that our husbands, Son of oh, Lord God, carry on the personal roles within their families and their nations, Son of God, or oh, that they are mighty for you to do great works, Son of God. They are clothing your glory in the name of Jesus, that people see your light in their lives, Son of God. They come to the end of us for waste cancer. In the name of Jesus, you are them up from their lowly estate, Lord God. You have placed them where kings and princes sit. The princes and kings of your people in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, in the great assemblies of your people, so Lord God, they make decisions, Lord God, according to your will, because they live for you. In the name of Jesus, they are like the trees, let them the riverside and be at the front in the season, oh Lord God. Their leaves are ever green, oh Lord God. Whatever they do, prosper, you, oh God. Their families prosper in good works, oh Lord God. We thank you for the spirit of fruitfulness within the families, oh Lord God. We thank you that our children grow up to be the children you created them to be, oh Lord. God, because you are the glory and the lifter of their heads, Lord God. They are set up the position of authority in their nations, Lord God, as president of nations and kings, Lord God, and queens, Lord God. Oh, Father, we bless you. They are princes and all of God and, 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 and princesses, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, they are senators, Lord God, and congressmen and women, Jehovah God. Father, we thank you. They are mayors of towns and cities, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are councilmen and women, Jehovah God. In the government, Lord God, for above Shendara, they head departments, Lord God. They walk, Lord God, at various levels, Lord God, doing great works for you. In the name of Jesus, in the judiciary for the Lord, Rabbi Chava they are judges of Lord God and they are attorneys of Lord God. They do great works for you. In the name of Jesus, that the positions of Lord God of, of impartial judges are being vacated by your mighty power, Jehovah God. Those that will come against the nations of Lord God. We have about Shendarabah, but in law enforcement, Jehovah God, the children are there doing great works for you. We bless you, God. In the name of Jesus, that the position of those working, Lord God, for evil forces of darkness are being vacated by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, God, the fire of God has come again, has come against them. They cannot remain in those places and continue in their evil works, Lord God. You are shaking the foundation of evil in our communities, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, you have arisen unto your children. You have heard our afflictions, Lord God. You have heard our cry for help in the name of Jesus. But you are doing great works through your children. You are the glory and the leader of our heads, Lord God. Our children can go to school to acquire the skills and education they need to become responsible citizens of their nations, Lord God. Father, Lord, you are pruning and pushing and approaching everything, not a few in our school system, Lord God. You are separating our children from everything evil, from every form of depravity of souls in the name of Jesus. Those who carry drugs into our schools, Lord God, to entice our children you have come against them. In the name of Jesus, those who take pornography into the schools, Lord God, you rub a that to expose our children to things they should not know. Your hands have come against them. The blood of Jesus speaking against them in their evil things. In the name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Spirit has descended upon their tents, Lord God. They have been shaken to their foundation by your mighty hands 
of God. In the name of Jesus. Those who make children to run away from their families, Lord God. The hand of God has come against you. All the fire of this will descend upon your tent. You have no place to hide. You must return the children that do not belong to you. Oh, Brother Shendra, the blood of Jesus is speaking against you this day. You are evil. In the name of Jesus, Brother Shendra, you have no place in our communities. Oh, Brother Shendra, as you knock about in your darkness, the light of God is penetrating and revealing you to the law enforcement in the name of Jesus. Oh, Brother Shendra, you will be such as you will be brought out to judgment by the mighty hands of God. Release these children that you do not have. Oh, stop your evil works, Lord God. We will call Shendra, in the name of Jesus, Brother Shendra, your foundations are being shaken today. You that you children in child labor in the name of Jesus and set straight. River can shake that the hands of God coming against you today. You have been shaking that to your foundation today in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaking against you today in your evil. Rabba Baba, turn back to God in the name of Jesus. Rabba Baba, shake that Baba Baba Baba. You cannot keep that which you do not have. You do not give life. You cannot take the life you do not have. You cannot kill. You cannot destroy. You cannot hold in captivity the children of God. The captivity is being turned around today. Children of God are being released by the mighty power of God in the name of Jesus. Rabba Baba, shake that our God has come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabba Baba, shake that Rabba Baba, Baba, shake that. The children are returning back to their families in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you for what you alone can do in our midst, Lord God. We bless you. We exalt your only name, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Glory, hallelujah, amen. At this time, we are lifting up or oh, walking the school system to you. Your children, the Jehovah God, let them lift up the banner of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabba Baba, increase them in knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and intelligence. Increase them, Father Lord. I light in their eyes, Lord God, let them see clearly, Jehovah God. Let them see the force of darkness within the schools, Lord God. Let them all prove everything contrary to your will, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, use them mightily, bless them and their families, Lord God. And compass around them with your only presence and protect them against the force of darkness within the schools. In the name Name of Jesus, oh Father, Rabba Kavu Shendara, positioning them and right, Lord God, who Rabba Kavu Shendara, let them remember that you have entrusted the children to you, oh Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus for the great works you do through your children, Jehovah God, oh Father, we bless you and you have heard our cry for help, oh Lord God, deliver us from the evil force of darkness, Jehovah God, help us, God, in the name of Jesus, break the snare and make our souls to escape, oh Lord God, out of the fallen snare, let our souls fly like birds today, in the name of Jesus, Rabba Kavu Shendara, let our souls Flip over words today. Let words come down be of our children today. In the name of Jesus, Father, you are exalted in our midst. We bless you, God. In the name of Jesus, you are great, O Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, glory, hallelujah, amen. We thank you, God, for restoring back to us and our families the things that belong to us. Everything buried underneath the bed of the ocean. Everything all hanging in the air. You remember my shame that about just shaking the four corners of the earth today. Oh, you are releasing blessings upon your children in the name of Jesus. Everything the wicked are buried underneath the bed of the earth of, of, of the earth is coming back to your children. You are restoring back to us the things that belong to us. You are blessing us and our families, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, you are God. Remember my shame that Lord God. Remember in the name of Jesus. Remember No one can lift up their hands against your children, Jehovah God. Remember We bless you, God, for what you Lord have done in our midst today. In the name of Jesus, you are our God. We bless you, our Father, as we lift up our sinner citizen to you. We thank you for the great things you are doing in our lives, and even in all ages, you testify about your faithfulness. You made us strong for you. In the name of Jesus, there are books that we can read, Jehovah God. You anoint their heads with oil, the oil of gladness today. Father, Lord, you have given them inner strength to stand on the foundation you have laid for them, that none of them will be abused, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we lift up a standard of rubber caution that in the name of Jesus, you protect them, O oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, because they are still doing great works for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray that the children will remember their parents in old age, O oh Lord God. That the church community will remember them for their good works, O oh Lord God. We take care of their needs, O oh Lord God. That none of them, Father Lord, will, will be lonely. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for what you are doing for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, God. In Jesus' name, glory, hallelujah, amen. Our Lord God Almighty, we are lifting up various situations in our families today. Those mourning the death of loved ones, Jehovah God. Rabbi Sindaraba, arise unto us today. In the name of Jesus, touch us, O Lord God, with your mighty hands. Touch us, O Lord God. Oh, we are us of your love, of your presence in our situations, O Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you that those of us alive with number of days are right with wisdom, Jehovah God. Oh, Rabbi Baba Shindaraba, that we will turn back around and we pass back to you. That we know that there's a time and season for everyone and life, O Lord God. Jehovah God, that we do good works in the seasons and times that we have. 
behalf. In the name of Jesus, in and out of season, you are God. That we pray and praise the gospel. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you for our loved ones that have gone forth into eternal rest, Lord God. You have called them back home. We bless you, God, because when they are rested in your person, because they love you, you love them too. You love them first in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for it. Oh, Father, we bless you. We cannot ask you any question. We surrender to your will, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus, be that inserted our God, even our situation. We bless you, God, for what you alone can do. In Jesus' name. Oh, Rabba Haba Shenda Rabba Baba Baba. In the name of Jesus, those Father Lord looking up to you and saying, We are with their next be come from who we have it. Send destiny help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Your children are truly uh, in need. Not those for that Lord that take advantage of good people that want to take when they have in the name of Jesus, but those that truly are in need, Jehovah God. Remember the sin that about I do not know where the next me we come from. Jehovah God send destiny help us to help them in the name of Jesus. Let those that have skills that can work, Jehovah God, let them use their hands to work honestly. Let them not be for that Lord people who continue to take and take when they have in the name of Jesus, let them be generous with what you have given to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, that it can also help others. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless you, God. Refresh us this day. You are our Father, we bless you. Those looking up to you for jobs and better jobs, Lord God, provide their needs, Lord God. Let your light penetrate, Father Lord, through their applications wherever they are today. Help them, lead them to those places, Lord God, where they will get jobs in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. You are God. You have done great and mighty things for us and our families, Lord God. We bless you. In the name of Jesus, and we lift up our government to you. We thank you for what you are doing, O Lord God. Our presidents will return back to you. Those in position of authority, O Lord God, making decisions of what, uh, 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 concerning the nations, O Lord God, we seek you in everything they do. In the mighty name of Jesus, your children within the government will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. They will feed on the truth and they will rightly distribute it wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, use them to do mighty works, O Lord God. The voices of opposition within government, Father Lord, let the voices be silent by your mighty power, Jehovah God. Let every pride and arrogance, uh, uh, arrogance arrogant son of God be put to, to, to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. Be able to that arise of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let truth, love, and justice of God direct the course of, of the affairs of men. Let true love of oh God and compassion in the hearts of men of oh God direct the affairs of men in the name of Jesus. Let peace direct everything we do in the mighty name of Jesus. You are our God. That's the only way we can be fruitful with your one God. Where there is division, where there is smiting, oh Father God, there is no fruitfulness in your one God. Let us return back to you. Let us understand that you created us, that we may be different from the Lord in our colors, in our races, oh Lord God, in our ethnicity, in our nationality, but we are your children, Jehovah oh God. There's no slave, there's no, there's no free man, Father Lord, there's no male, Father Lord, there's no female in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, there's there, there's no gender, there's no Jude. We are all one in you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for what you have done in Jesus' mighty name. This day, Father Lord, we are lifting up Jerusalem to you. As the mountains around Jerusalem, that so do you uh, pass around us and our families even now forevermore. We are praying for peace, oh Lord God in Jerusalem. We are praying for an outstretched hand of your outstretched hand towards Jerusalem this day. Oh, Father Lord, we are praying for peace in the name of Jesus. We prosper when we pray for the prosperity of Jerusalem. Jehovah God, you have given them that land, Jehovah God. May they dwell in safety, in prosperity on that land. Your children that you have given that land to in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, we thank you for what you Lord can do in Jesus' mighty name. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Uh, Lord God Almighty, at this time we are lifting up the body of Christ to you. We are thanking you for the mission of faith, Lord God. We are blessed with our children that have gone ahead of us into the mission field. You are doing great and mighty works through them. We thank you, Jehovah God, that the forces of darkness in the, in the nations cannot stand against them. Father, we thank you because your word is going, marching forward in the name of Jesus, that souls are coming into your kingdom, that vast letters are returning back to you, that, Father, Lord, people are renouncing foreign religion and tearing their temples from things, their families are written by their ancestors and coming back, coming to you, the one and only true God. We assert your name for the great works you are doing through. Father, your children are gone for food soldiers, Lord God. We are thanking you, Father, Lord, of those that set tables, Lord God, in, in between your house in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, the food pantries, we are blessing you, Lord God, and the meeting needs, Lord God, of your children. We are blessing for the food soldiers that go out in the, to their neighbors, neighbors, Lord God, to knock on doors, Father Lord, and to preach the gospel of salvation. Their feet, Lord God, God, bringing good news, Lord God. Their feet are bringing good news to the nations, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing in the name of Jesus. We bless for the prison ministry, Lord God, because we know there are great men and women of God in the prison, Lord God. Father Lord, we thank you, Father Lord, that you are anointing our 
pray to the go angels, speak as your oracles, your word God. Use them mighty name to bring souls to the kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. We are thanking for those that you are assigned to the hospitals, your word God. Oh, Rabba Kaushin, that they will meet your children, Father Lord, everyone, Father Lord, that you have assigned them to your word God, even at point of death, Lord God, that they will to the minister to your children in the name of Jesus, that souls will be brought to your kingdom, Jehovah God. Father, we are thanking for the great works you are doing, Jehovah God. For the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Father, Lord, you are the God of the harvest. Send more laborers into the harvest field in the name of Jesus. Touch your children, Father, Lord that you have obtained the Lord God for this work Father Lord to go forth the Lord God in the name of Jesus into the nations to preach and gospel Father Lord anoint your mouth to speak as your oracles Lord God give them the spirit of boldness Lord God we are about we are positioned within your body Father Lord may we begin to use the spiritual gifts you are giving to us beginning from our families Lord God to teach our children things of God in the name of Jesus we are strong pillars for you oh Lord God Father Lord we thank you that you will use us mightily our Lord God Almighty we lift up to you this morning your children that are being persecuted by eyes by Okada and Boko Harry. We are lifting up to you today, Father. All the terrorist sets around the world. Jehovah God, let them find no place to hide. Jehovah God, deliver your children from their captors, from those coming against them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, our right, this war is yours. It's not ours, Lord God. We have just put on your own armor upon us and about the body of Christ today. Protect us, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, lead us forward in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be a special anointing upon law enforcement, the various level of the military, Jehovah God. Let them go out as your soldiers or as Officers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you, Father Lord. Our fresh and uh, anoint them and new in the name of Jesus. Use them mightily to bring down the terrorists in the nation, Son of God. Release wisdom upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your light lead them to the dark places of this world, Father Lord, as they walk for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, protect them and their families, Jehovah God. In the mighty name of Jesus, prosper them in good works, Son of God. Provide their needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, those within law enforcement working for terrorists, let your hands come against them. Those who supply money and and nations today, Jehovah God, give them intelligent information. Let the hands of God come against them. Let the blood of Jesus speak against them. Let them be scattered, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit descend upon the Jehovah God that come against the children. That sets war, Father Lord, in the time of season of peace, Lord God. Oh, Father, we bless you because you are born. In the mighty name of Jesus, the world you have started has not finished. You will, you will finish it, Jehovah God. We thank you because you are God who fights for your children. We bless you for the great and mighty works you will do for us. We are not afraid of what the evil forces of darkness will do against us. Because we have you, we thank you for our abiding presence in our midst, O Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we die so that you over God. We thank you, O Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are our Father. Father, Lord, we thank you that the body of Christ is standing, O Lord God, in the rightful position you have placed us on in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Christ is solid rock. We thank you, Father, Lord, that we are under divine authority in the mighty name of Jesus, that your spirit is leading us. Oh, Father, we thank you for the spirit of discernment upon the church in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the gift of power in the name of Jesus to, to do things in your name. We thank you, Jehovah God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you are using us in our various areas of gifting. We are thanking you for the various administration and operation of gifts, O Lord God. We thank you, Jehovah God, for what you Lord can do. In the mighty name of Jesus, that is through the your spirit that we do everything. We thank you, Jehovah God, for, for the office of your Holy Spirit within the church, Jehovah God. By the Lord, we thank you today. We surrender to your spirit, Jehovah God. Have your ways. All fruit, destroy and, and, and uh, remove everything, God, and place any, everything. Against the will of God that has come amongst us, O Lord God. First promise and teachers, comforts that do not belong. They are partaking our love feasts, O Lord God. They are creating amongst us, O Lord God. We be able to them, blah, blah, blah. They are taking a license, O Lord God, of the salvation of Jesus Christ to, 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 to sin, to cause confusion, O Lord God, to divide, O Lord God. We come against them, Father Lord. They are after their bellies, O Lord God. They have no true love for your children or for your kingdom, Jehovah God. Father, separate them from us. Expose their evil plans, Father Lord. Oh, Father, we bless you. Let your children be positioned and right, Lord God. Let them price back against the forces of darkness within the church of God. We say thank you, God, for what you alone can do. In the name of Jesus, see your hands have come against them, Jehovah God. They have been scattered, Lord God, that want to cause confusion and miss, Lord God. We are coming against the voice of dissension today. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise unto us, Lord God. Let the church prevail in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, we lift us with our fathers and mothers, Lord God. And that's Lord God, ministers in the fivefold ministry, Jehovah God. As we lift up, Father, every member of the church, every child of yours, Lord God, 
that you have blessed through and gifts of God. We lift them to you today that each one will begin to speak unto your oracles. Each one will begin to do great works for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you that you anoint our heads of God, that your happiness is there. Thank you for divine blessing within the church. Thank you for the spirit of fruitfulness and prosperity, oh Lord God. Thank you, Jehovah God, that no weapon fashion against the kingdom will prevail. In the name of Jesus, we are your children, Jehovah God. We bless you for what you will do. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God, for a church that will not compromise with the world. A church that will stand firmly on the foundation that you have given to us. A, faith, a church that will condemn for all of our most holy faith and the faith you have entrusted to us, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Jehovah God, that we are building, Jehovah God. We are fighting with everything we have, Lord God, to hold on to the truth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, that no one can take that which you have given to us, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, we don't belong to those, Father Lord, that shrink back and, and that turn back and shrink and they are destroyed. We press unto the high calling of God in Christ Jesus for each one of us. And because we do that, Father Lord, we prosper in the name of Jesus. We do good works in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Our expectations to see your goodness in the land of the living shall not be cut short. In the mighty name of Jesus, we rekindle our hope this day. We have received strength, O Lord God. Glory, hallelujah. For what you have done in our midst, we bless you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are God. Glory, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. Today, Father, Lord, if any of us have any, any, any wrong thoughts in our hearts against our brothers and sisters, any unforgiving spirit, you are God, any bitterness, any mildness, you are God, that, that comes through the wisdom of this word, you are God, we deceive ourselves, O Lord God. Our prayers will not be answered. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Father, let the wisdom from above lead us today. As Father Lord, as we lay down the feet of Jesus Christ, everything which in us that is against your will today, against our brothers, against our sisters, against our nations, against the body of Christ, against anyone, even where we walk. In the name of Jesus, help us purify us today with fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lay down the spirit of Cain, O Lord God. Every accusation against anyone at the feet of Jesus Christ, we lay down every spirit of witchcraft and evil today at the feet of Jesus Christ. Every demon possessed individual today in our midst at the feet of Jesus Christ. Oh Father, destroy everything out of fear from our lives today that we may receive life, Jehovah God, that we may prosper and be fruitful and earth, Jehovah God, that we may show forth your praise and love to the nations, that we may be shining of your peace in this world in the name of Jesus. Father, we are casting everything, every every lot of the enemy at the feet of Jesus Christ today where we receive deliverance today in the name of Jesus. We are forgiving people that have sinned against us because just Without messing, we show that anyone that cannot forgive our brothers and sisters of, of any wrong thing against them, that have done against them. In the name of Jesus, as you have shown us mercy, we are showing mercy to, to people around us today. In the name of Jesus, we have been touched today by your spirit, Father. We thank you for reviving us, for helping us today. In the mighty name of Jesus, they have carried out every love from us today. Father, we thank you, we bless you. You are our Father. As we go into the study of your word today, enlighten our eyes and help us. Prune, purge, and remove from us anything out of you, for you discipline the children you love. Rebuke us and discipline us today that we see ourselves in the light of your word today. In the name of Jesus, we remove every spirit of arrogance and pride for us. If from us, in the name of Jesus, help us, God. We surrender to you. Have your way in our midst today. We bless you, our Father, in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Thank you, God, for answered prayer. Thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you for being our God and helper. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord reign it. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our midst today. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I want us to reflect on Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3, beginning from verse 1. I will take a couple of verses this morning. I want us to be attentive to the words of wisdom this morning. That there is a time and season for everything underneath the sun. Each of us, God has given us our own time and our own season. Are we using the time and season? The seasons come and go as the orbit rotate around the sun. Amen. The answer of the earth shift. Amen. We have the four seasons of the, of, of the earth, or the four seasons, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the seasons, are we living? What are we doing for God? What are we doing for our communities? What are we doing for our families? We are writing a story about ourselves in this world. Or the judgment day, books will be opened. It's from what we have done that this, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the spirit of prophets, so will read out what we have done. We are writing stories about ourselves through the various seasons and times that God has have, have given to us. And through the 
seasons and times that we pass through, things will happen also. So let us be comforted when things happen to us to know that the seasons will not are not permanent in the name of Jesus. That in hope, the times are not permanent in the name of Jesus. That we may be down today, but tomorrow will be up. We will be mourning the death of the Lord one today, but tomorrow we will find comfort in the name of Jesus. That the comfort that we receive from God in our time of mourning, that we are able to give comfort to anyone that is passing through that season in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are here to encourage one another. We want to be reminded that no season lasts forever. But whatever we do, in the seasons that we pass through, in the times that we are in for God, we last forever in the name of Jesus. Let us encourage one another and strengthen one another in the things of God. In and out of season, let us pray she does fair. Let us pray in and out of season and do good works in and out of season. That is, those are the things that will last forever in the name of Jesus. We are sowing for our heavenly kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. And we will be rewarded our God that has promised, we reward us. Amen. We can hold on to the truth that we have received from God. We can feed on it every day in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not doubt God. You are thinking where your next meal will come from. You are looking around you that your friends have all left you, that you are left alone. You are sad within you that we are all these people, all the people that used to be around me when I had so much. They've gone because I'm down today. Know that that season will not last forever in the name of Jesus. That even in your circumstance where you are today, that lowly estate where you are, that God is right there with you. The abiding presence of God is in with you in your situation. Have faith to believe God. Have spiritual eyes to see beyond your circumstances so that you receive strength to stand above whatever is trying to come against you. Because if you allow the enemy to begin to put those negative thoughts in you, your energy will be depleted. You will not have energy to do anything in the name of Jesus. But as soon as those negative self-talk come, pity, self-pity, reject it. And say that this will not be forever. Because I know the God I said. I know my God. I'm strong and I do great works on Him. This season will pass in the name of Jesus. I'm moving into my prosperity according to the will of God in the name of Jesus. I'll be happy again in the mighty name of Jesus. And even in this, I have a reason to, be, to rejoice. Because I know God in the name of Jesus that is going to be turning all the foundations of the earth in the name of Jesus. It will rotate around the sun in the name of Jesus. And there will be a new season. Something will come in the name of Jesus. We shall get to our destination so we believe in Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. A time for everything. There is a time for everything. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity on under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. To build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What does the worker gain from his toil? I've seen the burden God has laid on them. He has made everything beautiful in its time. That's the wisdom here. God has made everything beautiful in its time. When it's not a time for an activity or an event to take place, and we go ahead of God to begin to do those things, it will not be beautiful. But here's the wisdom that he made everything beautiful in his time so every time and season we pass through when we pass through the times and season in accordance to the will of god everything is made beautiful whether we are rejoicing whether we are mourning the death of a loved one when it's at, in, a, in accordance to the timing of god it is beautiful in the name of jesus whether we are crying 
whether we are laughing whether we are dancing whether we are sewing or reaping whether we are building or tearing them whether we are casting away or we are gathering whatever we are doing if we are doing it in accordance to the time and seasons of god god makes everything beautiful and that's how we are able to carry any load that that the enemy tried to trust on us when we do things in the time and seasons of god we receive inner strength from god to endure to push forward we receive we have spiritual eyes because our eyes are lighted by god you over to see in the name of jesus beyond our circumstances people say why are they rejoicing People say, why are they like this? Why is this happening? Because we have spiritual eyes to see beyond circumstances in the mighty name of Jesus. About 20 something years ago, we are mourning the death of my father. And when the children came from all over the world for the burial, we had reason, the children of my father, to rejoice. Because we knew what God did in my father and train the blessings upon our family. We had reason to, re to rejoice. So we had, the way we dressed and we appeared for the burial, the, 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 the three days of, of burial and everything, some people were offended. Now look at this ones. Their father died and see the way they are dressed. Look at the way they, they are going about the place as if it were a cannibal. But we had reason. To rejoice because the life of our father touched so many people he was generous he trained so many people that were not his children and god kept him alive to train all his children he saw his grandchildren so many of his grandchildren just about three or four of his children were not married at that time but most of us were married amen we had children and we had every reason to rejoice in the name of jesus so you may see people in the time of mourning you may see them thanking God. They have every reason to rejoice for what God has done for them. Because they know the story of the presence of God in their families. In the name of Jesus. There is a season when anything happens in accordance to the will of God. That's why the fact that you may be mourning. You may be passing through a difficult situation. Instead of fear, the spirit voice still gives you a reason to say, Father, thank you for what you have done. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you that my loved one is not passing through sorrow, even right now. Thank you that there's no, no, no pain. Thank you because you are God in our midst. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for prosperity in the family. Thank you for your hands over our family, wherever we go, for providing all our needs. Thank you, God, that even in this generation, that's why the fathers and parents of Christ are still taking care of us. We bless you, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your light shine in our face in the mighty name of jesus that when things are done in accordance to the will of god that god makes everything beautiful amen see beauty in your circumstances today bless god for what god has done for you that that's not the fact that you may be struggling today know that it's this a time and a season that you're passing through in the name of jesus that god is passing you through experiences that will bring out the best in your character that will make you to attain unto godliness and righteousness that way you can serve god and begin to take care of the needs of people in your community in the name of jesus thank god for what god has done for you find reason to rejoice in the mighty name of jesus cry when it's time for you to cry be sorrowful when it's time for you to sorrowful. But after the season of mourning has passed, let joy flow. The joy of God in the name of Jesus. Let God touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to walk and live for God in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to thank God for life in the mighty name of Jesus. For hair and everything you have in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to thank God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your ears not listen to any negative word coming out from, out from the mouth of those that do not know the power of God in the lives of our children. Our days are in the hands of God. Oh, Rabbi Habashenda, who can question God? Who can ask any question? In the name of Jesus. He is the God, the only righteous God, the only judge, 
God has not made us the judge of anyone. Today we surrender to your will in the name of Jesus. We bless you for the seasons and times, Lord God. You make things beautiful in the life of your children. We bless you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. This morning, I want us to reflect briefly because I got this out from the dictionary, the online dictionary, the meaning of time, so that we understand our time is demarcated for us, so that we know and our seasons are. So we know that each time and season that we have, be if we want to see time in, 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 in the terms of the morning, the afternoon, or evening, or we want to see time in terms of day and months and years, or in, time, in terms of seconds, minutes, and, and, and hours, in, in whatever way we want to see time, let us know that each time we have should be used to give God pleasure, to do works on God, but every time and season. Is very, very, very important. We need to do things for God. Be purposeful about what you do. Live your life in accordance to the will of God. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I will read this. Then before I end, I want us to read something from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4. To end this session in Jesus' name. Time. Time is defined as a measure in which events can be ordered in which events can be ordered from the past through the present into the future. So it's measurable. People see what you have done. That this person came here at 9 a.m. today and he left here 10 p.m. three days ago or, 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 or that you will leave here 10 p.m. three days from now. Amen. People want to see what you are doing from that 9 a.m. to three days from now, today that you leave this place in the name of Jesus because it is measurable. Use it in the name of Jesus. It's a measure in which events can be ordered. God has given you the time. Use it wise, wisely. It's a measure in which events can be ordered from the past through the present into the future. For example, someone that is 60 years old today. How did you use the time? How can you measure your time? From when you knew yourself, you could make decisions for yourself and about things. How can you measure your time? What did you do within that time? Of the time you had, what did you give to God? The service of God and your community. Service of people within your family. How did you use your time? Amen. You can measure it. The order in which events are ordered from the past through the present. What are you doing today? Are you using your time into the future? When tomorrow comes, what will you be doing with your time? The word of God says we should not worry about tomorrow, that the evil of today is enough for the day. But tomorrow we come. We thank God that if today we are not doing anything for God, we are not doing anything meaningful within our communities, that we can reorder our time. Amen. The events that we order the events, the things that we do with our time, so that we start to work with God for God and we become fruitful for ourselves and our communities in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But, and also the measure of durations of events and the intervals between them. The measure, the measure of durations of events. How long did you spend doing this? And what interval was between what you did just today and what you did Yesterday, what you do in the morning and what you do in the noon. 30 minutes in between time. What are you doing in the name of Jesus? That time is often referred to as the fourth dimension along the three special dimensions that science in its own in the name of Jesus. That is the fourth dimension. Amen. There are four dimensions within the three special dimensions. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We need someone that's and those physics to tell us what that is. But what we know is that we order a time that events are ordered within the time that God is given to us in the name of Jesus and the durations of time that we give to each event. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Then I have another definition for time. That the indefinite, the indefinite or needs, the indefinite continued progress of existence. And events in the past, present, and future regarded as a whole. It's a continuous, there's 
everything regarded as a whole. When you look at a person's life, when you talk about the time the person spent in this world, you look at it as, as a whole. You see the past, you see the present, you see the future of the person, making the whole person. Yes, but Satan wants us to look at our past, those evil things we have done. So that we use those evil things as remembering the past instead of remembering what God is doing in our lives today and what we are today. Using those evil things of the past to attack the present time so that we will not be fruitful for God. Amen. But when you look at our life, look at those bad things we did in the past, look at what we are doing today, look at what we do in the future. That's the way God sees us. Amen. That when an evil person turns away from that evil part and turns back to God and begins to do good works, God forgives them in the name of Jesus. We have a long time in this world, but not too long. That even if our years are 70 or 80 years, Amen. It's still sorrow and struggle, especially when we are outside of the work of God. Amen. We only receive rejoicing when we work for God in the name of Jesus. Let us know about our lives and rights so that we can use our time well while we are in this world in the name of Jesus. That when they look at the entire story, they say, Oh my God, this one that used to kill people, this one that was a prisoner, this one that used to go to people's houses to see things. Look at what God did through this person. How this person ended their lives in the name of Jesus. Time is very important to us in the name of Jesus. Use time wisely in Jesus' mighty name. There's another definition I want to read out. Uh, season. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Season. That a season is a division of the year. A season is a division of the year marked by changes in weather ecology and hours of daylight. A season is a division of the year marked by changes in weather, ecology and hours of daylight. Seasons result from the yearly habit of the earth around the sun and the teeth when it turns, when the earth turns around the sun, of the earth's rotational hazards relative to the plane of the orbit. Amen. So a season is a division of the year marked by changes in weather, ecology, and hours of daylight. Amen. We have the morning, we have the afternoon, we have the noon, we have the four seasons. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. In some countries we have two seasons, the rainy season and the wet season. What are between between the seasons? Here we have we have uh, the summer, we have winter, we have uh, we have spring. Then we have falls. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we thank God that God has given us the various seasons. We can see the changes in the ecology and things happening around us. How the flowers change from green to different shades of orange, red, green, until they dry to brown, really brown, and they fall down. Amen. And then we do not see any tree, any leaves on the trees again. Then we are in winter. What are we doing? Are the, are, the, are the changes take place around us? Are we being conscious of the things happening around us spiritually? Of what God expects of us as the children of God? What are we doing? We need to ask ourselves these questions. Amen. Because questions will be asked of us. Books will be open. And books and books. In the day of judgment. And the judgment will be from what we have done in this world in Jesus' mighty name. May we work for God, may we serve men, may we truly have the love of God for our brothers and sisters. That this is the way that we know that we love God. May we love God's children. May the love of God's children be in our hearts in Jesus' mighty name. Glory, hallelujah, amen. I said I was going to finish this session by re reading from the book of Second Timothy. Amen. I want us to pay attention. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 4. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. For the time we come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. It's happening, happening even right now. Amen. Instead, to suit their own desires, 
They will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their ishing years want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myth. But you keep your head in all situations. And your hardship, and your hardship, do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. In and out of season, children of the living God, do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry in and out of season. Because a time will come when people will no longer teach sound doctrine. When people will begin to tell people what their ancient years want to hear. Where people will be men pleasers and not pleasers of God. But because we have received the living word of God that is powerful in our lives to do great works of God. And because we know our God and our purpose here on earth, we are being told that the word of God must be preached in and out of season. Winter, fall, spring, summer, rainy, dry season, the word of the living God must be preached in and out of season. Daytime, nighttime, noon, whenever. In the name of Jesus. The duration we will give to the word of God, let it give pleasure to God. It must be preached. Amen. That in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead. God and Christ Jesus, Jesus who will judge the living and the dead. is given unto us once to live. And after this we come judgment. There is going to be the judgment whether we like it or not. Amen. That in the presence of God and Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead. And in view of his appearing and his kingdom. Because it's coming. We know it's coming in view of his appearing and his kingdom. We want to be his heirs and co heirs within of his kingdom. In view of that hope that we have. Amen. What do we do? I give you this charge. That this charge has been given to us. Because of the great promises of God. God will judge the living and the death through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And because of his coming back to judge the living and the death. And because of his kingdom. Which he has promised us the great promises of God for the nations. Amen. That we are children of God. Amen. Priests unto God. Great men and women of God. That in view of this. The apostle gave this charge to Timothy. And also to us. Everyone that believes in God. In the name of Jesus. I give you this charge. Preach the word. Preach the word. Let the word of God speak for itself. God backs his word with power and his, with his power and his authority, with signs, wonders, and miraculous deeds. Let the word of God be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let the word of God lead us wherever we go in and out of season. Let us come in and gather in the name of our God. Let the word of God be read out as Jesus Christ read out the, 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 the word. In the synagogues, wherever he went, it was his custom to read out the word in the name of Jesus. Let it be preached with the power that God has given to us. The word of God, read out from the Bible, it will minister to the souls of men without much emphasis from any other person. Let the Spirit minister from to us in the name of Jesus. But faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. If the word is not preached, what would men know? How would they be filled with the knowledge of God's will in this world? How can they receive power to do great works for our God? Amen. That preach the word. Be prepared in season. How do you prepare yourself? By studying the word of God. You, you go in, take a private time, your personal time with God, study and pray. Amen. That the spirit of prayer will descend upon the church. Amen. That be prepared. Each of us be prepared because there's a great commission that has been given to us to go out to the nations. That be prepared in season and out of season. Correct. Correct in love. Amen. Correct. Rebuke and encourage. Correct. Rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instructions. Not tearing down. Amen. Not bouncing people around because you have the gift of the spirit or because you have an eye office within the church. Within the body of Christ? No. That with great patience 
and careful instruction. We carry the glory of God. Here we go as the light of God. How can we testify for pe to people and bring them to the kingdom where we trample upon them, where we do not have any love, where we do not have patience? Amen. That with great patience, pray that God will give us that patience, great patience and careful instruction. Amen. For the time we come, we may we not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires. But what will that lead us to? What does it profit a man if he gains the entire world and somebody loss of his own soul? What can we give in return for our souls? What can we give in return for our souls? Amen. Think about it. We look into the perfect law of liberty. We deceive ourselves. We do not know how we look. Like one looking into the mirror and living and forgetting how they look. Think about it. Who do we deceive? Ourselves. No other person. Not ourselves. In the name of Jesus. While your life is still have hope, we can turn it back and begin to use our seasons wisely to do great works of God. To live. Truly live. Not, not deceiving ourselves and for people around us. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. No one can deceive God. Everything lies bare before, before God. The word of God penetrates through our bones and marrows and everything, exposing us just the way we are. We cannot deceive God. We deceive ourselves. Amen. For the time we come, when men will not put up with sand doctrine, instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers. These men will gather around them a great number of teachers. Come, tell us what we want to hear. Come. You have a, so much give and spiritual leader. We will write your books for you. We make so much money in your name. Your name will be there and title that you wrote the books. But we will write it. We do all the brain work. We do many things. The house of God becoming a den of robbers. We produce so many things. Your name will be there. You have a large congregation. People will come. Turn back to God in the name of Jesus. Turn back to God. God is speaking to us today in the mighty name of Jesus. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and somebody lost his soul? Think about your soul. Where have you turned away from righteousness, from pursuing your calling? Where you have allowed the world to come to tell you what to do within the body of Christ? Introducing things contrary to the will of God. Freely we have received, freely we should give. You want to teach people how to be powerful, how to use their spiritual gifts? You have these big seminars around the world and you pay people to pay heavily to come. What? If the Roman Catholic Church did that, how many of us today? We'll be Christians. We even be where we are today. Most of us started as Roman Catholics or um, Anglicans. Anglican. They, if they did that, where would we be today? We are having a seminar that, 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 that teaching you how to be productive, how to that, that, that come and pay. Pay $50 to register. Where do you do that? The church takes an offering for the good works of God. Do whatever you want to do. When they yell, they come and they are moved in their spirit by what they have heard. God loves a cheerful giver. They will give more than that fifty dollars because they see you doing the work of God. Let us be careful about what we do in the name of Jesus. I don't want to go too far from the message of God this morning, but we have to think about what we are doing that they have gathered instead to suit to suit their own desires. They will gather around them a great number of teachers, a great number of teachers, to say what their issue eyes, uh, ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations, all seasons, all times. Keep your heads in the name of Jesus. In all situations, endure hardship. The trying of our faith produces endurance. For endurance we must finish its work in us to make us complete and mature, lacking nothing. Now count it on joy when you pass through diverse temptations. Temptations will come. Amen. God will tempt us too. Abraham was tempted in the name of Jesus. That when you pass through those temptations, count it joy. When temptation come, God gives us a way to withstand. That we, are, we do not fall now under that mode of temptation. When we, we stand on the solid foundation God has laid for us, when we feed on the truth, may God see the spirit of our hearts. He helps us even in temptation. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.
Glory, hallelujah. And turn aside to me. But you keep your head in all situations and your hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. An evangelist proclaims the good news of God's kingdom to men, brings souls into the kingdom, does great work, reminds them of the salvation of Jesus Christ, brings men to repentance, teaches the word of God in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, amen. God moves in his power when you walk. When you walk for God in the name of Jesus. Signs, wonders, and miracles, this we go with the work of God in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That discharge all the duties of your ministry in the name of Jesus. Pray for people, cast out demons, lay your hands on people, and believe that God will work through you to perfect his way, to bring healing upon his children in the mighty name of Jesus. That you can break the rod of oppression because the right hand of our God dwells with that place. And God has anointed our right hands. To do everything that his right hand can do in the name of Jesus. Because we are here for God, not for ourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. At this time, let us bow our heads and begin to thank God for every gift he has given to us. Let us begin to bless him for every season and time of our lives. Thank him. Bless him. Pray that the Spirit of God will begin to help us to be for God. To do his will. That none of our times and seasons will be wasted in the name of Jesus. That God give us inner strength to withstand whatever circumstances we pass through. That in all, that God was at first place in our lives in the name of Jesus. Glorify God this morning. Bless Him for what He has done for you. Thank you for the little more that you have fed on this morning. Thank you for touching us. Bless Him in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We glorify your name. You are God. We saw the praise of God today in Jesus' mighty and precious name. We have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give God a clap of praise this morning. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God loves you. We love you too. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.